Hello! In this tutorial we will cover how to make a 3D monster collecting Pokemon style game in Godo, latest version 4. Because of my in Unity extensive background, I will be using C Sharp. Today we will set up our 3D camera. Create 3D node for our character. Save it as a scene for our character. Each 3D object is visualized on the screen by Mesh Instance 3D node. And when you add this node, you can select some basic primitive to use as a base mesh. So you can pick up all kinds of primitive objects. We will use basic box. Good, save this scene. Now we want to create a scene for our camera. We are separating camera into its own scene, so we can manage the camera better. We will tell to the camera to follow or aim at something. Add camera node. A pivot for camera, just a node 3D. Then parent the camera to the pivot. Move camera back a little. Good. Now we need to combine both a character scene and the camera scene. To do this, we will make a main scene and load both camera and our player character. Move camera away from the player character. Now open the third person camera scene. Select the main node and let's create another new script called third person camera. Make sure you set the script to be C sharp. Inside newly created script, declare exported float variable called sensitivity. If we build the project now, variables marked with export attribute will be available to edit inside the editor. This is nice for fine-tuning values. Then we need to read the input from the mouse. Inside the input callback, check if the current input is input event mouse motion. To calculate the rotation of the camera around the object, based on the mouse motion, we will subtract the rotation from y-axis, a relative position of x divided by sensitivity. Because when you are moving your mouse to left or right, you want to rotate around the Y axis. And to rotate up and down, we need to subtract the relative Y position of the mouse. Relative value of the mouse position is the difference of the position of the mouse between current and previous frame. After applying the change of rotation based on the mouse input, we need to assign the newly calculated rotation back to the node rotation. Let's add light object. And let's try to launch the game. To do this, first we need to select the main scene. The scene, which will be launched on the start of the game. It will be the scene which we called main, which contains both the camera and character. Good, our small box is being rotated around. Adjust the sensitivity of our camera. The higher it is, the slower the camera moves. Now 
let's capture our mouse into the window of our game. So in the ready, ready is called when a node enters the scene. We will set the mouse mode to be captured. This will hide your mouse pointer on the screen when you are playing the game. And when we press escape, we want to release our mouse so we will be able to close our window. In the process, we will check if UI cancel is pressed. And set the mouse mode to be visible. Let's test this. Good. You can keep rotating the camera up and down infinitely. So let's limit the angle your camera can go up and down. We will use a clamp method to do so. And we need to make variables for maximum top angle and minimum bottom angle. The values in the degrees. Then clamp our X axis inside those two angles. Because our angles are stored in degrees, we need to convert them into radians using this method. Good. This series is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon. If you want to help me keep my channel going, you can find my Patreon in the description. You can be featured on the screen and get access to project files. This is it for today. Next time we will import the actual character and start moving him around. See you next time.